The new Max 5 G2 has a problem, and in this video, we're hopefully gonna fix it, but before we do that, I gotta show you what the problem is. And to do that, we need to install it in this XRT, but first, we gotta strip out this power system. Looks like we broke this 3D printed mount for the MMX8S, but that's okay, because we've got this awesome 7075 M2C mounting plate going in for the Max 5 G2. The main problem we're hoping to fix today is poor startup performance with some sensorless motors. This is one such motor I was having issues with. We're gonna be doing that with a new firmware update, and there are some other cool features that that new firmware update provides as well. We're gonna be installing that new firmware with this fancy new programming card. I'm pretty excited about this. It's got built-in Bluetooth and some pretty cool features. And while we've got this thing apart, there's a couple other issues I need to fix. One of them being these battery straps. We lost this hole down in the last bashing session. Let's get that upgraded. Much better. Now we just need to install the ESC and finish up the wiring. Let me show you what acceleration is like with the original firmware. You can hear that staged acceleration. Let me show you what that looks like on the ground. All right, this is gonna be a full throttle pull. See that hesitation? Show you again. So that's the problem. Now, hopefully to fix it, we're gonna use this brand new programmer to update the firmware to the latest version. There's supposed to be a couple other pretty sweet changes they made as well. This programmer's got built-in Bluetooth, so we should just be able to plug it in, power up the ESC, go into the Hobbywing software, connect to the programmer, go to firmware update, and as you can see, there's a newer version of the firmware available. Let's go ahead and get that updated now. Let the ESC restart, reconnect to verify that the firmware is updated. And there we go, it is up to date. You can also check and change the different parameters while you're in here through the Bluetooth connection. And then of course you can also change the parameters in here directly from the programmer. This has all the standard options that you would have through the app. You've also got the ability to read basic data recording information. You can load and save different profiles. And then you've just got some system settings in here as well. So basically this does the same thing as the previous version of LCD programmer. It just is a little bit easier to use, has a few more features and has that really convenient Bluetooth connection. All right, all updated. Hopefully that fixes the problem. Let's go find out. All right, let's see if that takes care of the problem. That is a lot better. Oh yeah. Let's see how it handles off-road. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, she's way more responsive now. The new firmware update obviously helps with the sensorless issue. However, it's also supposed to help with censored takeoff. I never really had much problem with that to begin with, but why don't we go ahead and throw a 5690 in there, take it for a bash and see how it feels. Well guys, she's certainly not lacking in power. She's got so much power that I actually tore up my center differential, which is something I don't do very often. If you're enjoying this technical breakdown video, make sure you subscribe. We've got a lot more of that stuff coming along with bashing, crashing, and reviews. All right, the last feature they added is the ability to change programming through the set button. Let's make sure that works. To do that, we just hold down the set button while pressing the power button, and then we continue to hold it until we get a green light. So there we go guys, new firmware on the Max 5 G2, way better startup performance on sensorless, enough startup performance on sensor to break things if you're not careful, and the ability to program from the set button if you really wanna do that sort of thing to boot. Overall, I'd say definitely do this update if you have the Max 5 G2. If you've already done it, let me know what you think about the performance down in the comments. Make sure you get subscribed, then check out one of these videos.